Hello everyone, welcome back. If you are new here, I am Shreya Gada and full-time artist, skillshare teacher and art educator from India. So today we will be painting a lighthouse near the water with watercolors. So let's get started. I will first walk you through all the materials that we will need for today's class. So you will need two jars of water. Masking tape to tape down your paper on all four sides. Watercolor paper. Here I am using 300 GSM, 100% cotton, cold pressed watercolor paper from Brewsto. Then you will need a board to stick down your paper on all four sides with masking tape. Next you will need watercolors. Here I am using Camling Artist Grade watercolor paints. I have a review of this paint and I'll link that on the top. Next you will need pencil and eraser to sketch down your painting and then you will need brushes here i'm using stationary round brushes they are super affordable and they have a wide range if you are interested you can use my code shreya7 to get some discounts on these brushes i will link all the products in the description box so make sure you check them out on another note i really wanted to tell you something really important and exciting so there is creative life happening from 24th of feb to 5th of march wherein there are more than 75 amazing artists which are coming together to teach their expertise and the best part is everything is for free all you have to do is register using the link i will link that in the description box there are sessions on drawing, sketchbooks, painting, journaling, entrepreneurship, mixed media, you name it. You have everything and like I said, everything is for free. So make sure that you grab this opportunity and you don't miss out on this amazing free content. I always believe you cannot learn everything from one person but you can learn something from someone. So do register even I'm teaching there. So I'll see you guys over there. Alright, I've already applied my masking tape on all four sides and now I have just started sketching. The sketch is quite simple first i'm drawing the horizon line and on top of that i am drawing the rocks you can use your scale to make the horizon line as well as to sketch the lighthouse so that it comes out straight so once we have drawn the rocks we will draw a lighthouse on top of it draw it little lighter so that the pencil mark doesn't show up once you start painting i'm drawing it dark so that you all can see but you get my point right so always whenever you're working with watercolor your sketch should be very light Later, I will also draw a tiny little house by the lighthouse and then I will draw a few trees around the house and the lighthouse. And that's it with the sketching part. Now let's move on to painting. So first we will start with the sky part. Here we will be using wet on wet technique like usual to paint the sky so first i'm applying water onto my sky using the round brush and then i will start painting i'm using a mix of ultramarine blue and red to paint the sky if you'll notice you'll see that i'm holding my brush right on the top or you can say right on the edge this is because I really don't want to control the brush strokes on the paper and I want to make it look as natural as possible. So that's the reason I'm holding it right on the top. That way I will have quite less control on my brush. Alright, on another note, I really wanted to tell you that I do have three beautiful classes on Skillshare. 
where I'm teaching different kinds of landscape. So if you are interested, make sure that you check it out. I have all the introduction of the Skillshare class on my YouTube channel. So you can always check it out and then later decide if you want to join or not. Also, if you're not on Skillshare, don't worry. Just use my link, which I will link it on the description box. And using that link, you will get one month of free access to all the classes on Skillshare. So yeah, happy learning and happy painting. Alright, so once we have painted the sky, I just painted the trees around the lighthouse. And next, I'm painting the rocks. We are doing everything wet on wet. This is just the first layer of paint once that is dry we will do the detailing part so for the rocks i'm using the mix of brown black and yellow ochre to paint it and in between i've also used a bit of green to make it as earthy and as natural as possible once that is done i will splatter some water on the rocks while that is still wet so that you get this effect I have really used a very light value of colors for the first wash. Now I am just using a bit of a darker value in some parts to get a bit of depth and dimension to my painting. So this is how layer by layer we create a depth and dimension to our painting. Alright so once that is done I will let it dry and while that is drying let's move on to painting the water now while i started painting the water my sky area was still wet and because of that all the colors flew into the sky which you don't really want so let your sky completely dry before you start painting the water here while that happened i used my tissue to grab all the colors but the uh, Make sure that you don't repeat this mistake like I did. And to paint the water, I'm using a mix of Veridian Green and Persian Blue. So once I've applied first layer of the blue and green mix, I will reapply the same color. But this time I will use a thicker consistency paint to create a bit of shadow of the rock on the water. As you see around the edge that the color is flowing towards the sky so I just grabbed my tissue and slightly dabbing it around the edge to lift off the paint. And now I will let it completely dry. So while that is drying let's paint the lighthouse. First I will paint the body of the lighthouse with a very light value of green. So that is I have just taken the black color and I have added a lot of water to it and I painted the first layer with that color. Same way I will use the same color to paint the house as well and the roof we will paint it with the red. I would suggest you to switch to the smaller round brush which has a really good tip and that way it could make it easier for you to paint on a smaller surface of the paper or a smaller subject. So whenever you are doing the detailing part, make sure that you are doing wet on dry 
that is the underneath layer of the paper is completely dry otherwise the color which you will apply will flow all around and it will just ruin your painting so so let it air dry or if you are impatient like me you can always use a hair dryer to dry off your painting it would hardly take a minute or so if you use that all right so we have already painted the roof of the house and the lighthouse next we are doing the detail of the background trees so i'm just taking a bit of sap green and very thin green and i'm just doing the tapping motion with my brush same way i will do it on the left side of the lighthouse and then we will draw the trunk of the tree using the smaller liner brush so that you don't draw a thicker line here to make our tree i'm just using different shades of green either i will use a bit of yellow to make it lighter or i will use a bit of blue or darker green to make it a little darker to create the depth and the different colors of the tree so while that is drying let's paint the rocks so i'm taking a bit of darker value of the brown and i'm painting it on the rock i will not cover the whole of the rock with the same color as you can see i'm just drawing it on the top of the rock and leaving the rest of the area the way it was same way once that is done i will reapply the darker value again on the top same way not will not cover the whole area with the same color I'm hoping you all are enjoying watching me paint and let me know if you do in the comments down below. Also make sure that you like, share and subscribe to my channel so that every time I post you will get a notification. I post painting videos once a week so do subscribe and I have a lot of videos already up on my channel so make sure you check them out as well. now let's correct the water part it's looking way too patchy so it has already completely dry so let's paint it and correct our mistake so i'm taking the blue color directly and i'm painting it on the edge and i'll apply the color first and then with the damp brush i will just blend the colors with the background So while that is drying, let's move on to the detailing part of the lighthouse. So this is how you paint with watercolors. You'll have to do, you know, multitask or you can say like you'll have to work on different subjects at once. Like we just worked with the water and now we are painting the lighthouse. So that's how it works. That way you will be able to complete your painting faster. So we are almost done with our painting it is already looking so beautiful but what I thought is I will just outline the lighthouse rock and the tree to make it even more stand out if you would have seen my last video you would know this as we did the same thing in the last video as well and the end result is quite beautiful so take any black pen any black gel pen or ball pen would work and uh, make sure that it has a really good tip so that uh, the lines which you 
paint are less thinner and yeah that's it you just have to outline everything just make sure you don't make a quite straight line make it uneven crooked that's fine you make it as natural as possible now as the sky is looking quite empty so what i'll do is i'll take the same pen and we will paint few words in the sky so you just have to draw a week first and then you will, at the center you just have to draw a tiny little dot and that's it now let your painting completely dry before you peel off your masking tape at an angle which is away from the paper so yeah i hope you enjoyed learning and painting along with me if you did just let me know by liking the video it will help me reach more people also do let me know what you would like to see more on this channel i would love to create something which you all you want to learn Alright and make sure that you do check out the creative life which is happening by the end of Feb. I will link everything in the description box so do check it out and please 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 don't miss out on this amazing opportunity of learning from more than 75 amazing artists. Alright so I'll see you guys really soon in the next video. Bye.